Well, hello, this is Preston Sandlin with Home Inspection Carolina. Uh, the second I started going on here, my dog did something over there. Uh, my wife, if she's yelling at the dog in the background, I apologize. But uh, I'm Preston Sandlin with Home Inspection Carolina, and today I want to talk about heat exchangers because we had our uh, meeting yesterday, and uh, one of our inspectors, uh, actually manager Chip, um, had uh, an inspection where uh, they had a really bad cracked heat exchanger and it was a really good picture and uh so we had a long discussion about that and what to look for and that sort of thing and i just thought it would make a really good video um so that's what we're going to do uh let's talk about that just a little bit let me pull it up so this is the uh inspection and you can see so there were there was a small crack over here so for just so that everybody kind of understands, and I've got a picture of how a gas furnace works. What's happening is uh, you have the gas furnace and the uh, carbon monoxide or the waste flows through these pipes, but it, the pipes get really hot and air flows across it. And uh, you know, then it goes up through your registers and everything. And that's where you get that really hot air and it feels really good. Um, and um, that's, you know, and this is why it's a heat exchanger. The heat is coming through. It's very hot going through there and air blows across it and heat is exchanged. But the problem is over time or, you know, things can happen. These heat exchangers crack. So then you're getting that combustible air out into mixing, commingling with the air that's going to come up through your registers. And, you know, that's really bad because it's got carbon monoxide in it. It's called a cracked heat exchanger. Uh, and you've got to replace that. Obviously, this is pretty corroded over here on the right, and uh, there's a little one here. So, you know, obviously you're getting carbon monoxide coming through. Uh, it might set off the carbon monoxide. It's, it's not good to breathe. Um, and, you know, the, the heat's not as efficient, although that's probably the least of your worries with that. Um, but let's, that was the one that we found. Um, and ironically on this one, uh, we called it out and the seller was like, there's no way we've got a uh, contract. They come out and service it twice a year. And I'm like, wow. I mean, this didn't happen in six months from the last, uh, last, uh, um, service. Trust me. <laughs> that took a while to do that. Um, this is another one. Uh, it's cracked. This is a little different. It's not as much as corrosion. Um, well, it's kind of corroded from the inside. You got a crack there and a crack there, but it's a slightly different type of exchanger. But again, inside of here is, you know, very hot combustible, uh, a combusted gas, uh, waste products of the, of the flame, uh, which um, is hot, but uh, and then the air flows over that. So you don't want it to co-mingle like it is here. So that's obviously a problem. Um, I'm sorry, that's so small, um, but Here's kind of like the, the, the older type that uh, has some corrosion there as well. Got put his finger in it. Uh, that first picture was ours. Uh, some of these other ones are ones that we've gotten from the internet just for purposes. Here's an older one that's really bad. This is better. It wasn't better. <laughs> better. That's not a word. This is worse uh, than the one that we had. Um, boy, that one there is just dilapidated all the way around. That's just blowing pure, you know, waste. Um, product right up through the registers and whatnot um so if you have a you know a gas furnace you're probably wondering uh you know um, how do i check for this what uh, what do i do or how do i know if i have a cracked heat exchanger well there's a couple of different things um if you can get in to look at your burners uh they should be uniform blue you shouldn't have any orange you know basically you're looking you know they're very uniform uh, just blue flame, but if you've got some orange or some flickering, uh, that's a, a sign. Um, if you've got any of that, I would definitely uh, call an HVAC uh, person to come out and take a look at it. Another thing that you can do uh, is get a carbon monoxide detector. Now, this is no guarantee, um, but you can get a carbon monoxide detector and um, you can go right to each one of your registers with it, you know, the battery operated kind. Now, let me say that, you know, just because that doesn't go off doesn't mean it's not cracked. Um, 
so it's not a hundred percent, but certainly if it does go off, uh, yeah, you got a problem. Um, so, you know, when we do the inspection, we, the home inspection, we check, we use our carbon monoxide detectors, we check the flames, all kinds of stuff to see. The problem is that this is pretty internal. You kind of have to take something apart to get to it or take the top. So this is your typical furnace here. Let me see, can I get this a little bigger? I forgot how to do that. Let me see if, you know, uh, I want to bring the full screen back. Not exactly sure how I, Okay, got yeah, myself back. I lost myself there for a second. Um, I know, there's some way to make this bigger, but I'm not sure. Oh, here we go. The little. There we go. Let's see if we can. Yeah, much better. Okay, so <clears throat> this is your typical uh, furnace. Um, okay, so you have the blower fan here. You'll have intake air coming in through here, and there's a filter here. So air goes in, it blows across. These are the burners. And then the burners, <clears throat> the waste product, um, I'm sorry, the burners are right here. Um, the the uh, burners, the waste product goes through um, the uh, heat exchangers and out through another way, but the air flows around those heat exchangers and comes out up here and goes out through your registers. So what happens is if these things get cracked, it's gonna cause the flames to flicker and uh, also you're gonna get carbon monoxide come up through your registers, which is bad. Um, so telltale signs, flickering, uh, corrosion, if you see a lot of corrosion, that's, that's never a good thing. Uh, and obviously if the carbon monoxide detector goes off, uh, that is also a bad sign. So let me see, I may have to bring this back. There's some more uh, cracked heat exchanger you can see there, uh, certainly not too good there. Um, there's another picture of uh, that other, the one that I showed you before was a, a newer unit, higher, more higher efficiency unit. This is typically, I don't want to say older, but I'm going to say older. <laughs> it's not a high efficiency uh, unit, but uh, it uh, certainly has um, uh, an exchanger there just as well. Um, so anyway, let me go back. Um, so again, to, to in conclusion, uh, telltale signs of a crack heat exchanger are corrosion, uh, flickering, orange, uh, you should have uniform blue lights on your burners, and uh, carbon monoxide, anything like that. If you have any inkling of an idea that you might have a crack heat exchanger, call a licensed, uh, uh, um, licensed HVAC technician to come out and take a look at it. And it's probably not a bad idea to have that, you know, every year or twice a year anyway and have them check it out um, because, you know, you don't want to mess around with this. This has been Preston Sandlin with Home Inspection Carolina. Um, uh, I hope this has been valuable. Thanks. If you ever need a home inspection or anything, please go to homeinspectioncarolina.com or if you have a question, go there and uh, you can send us a message. Thank you for watching.